Welcome back to Nature Inspired Farms. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our feeding program for our plants. Um, plants are a lot like humans. They desire food to survive. They desire nutrients. And if we require, if we want to get a certain yield um, and a certain type of fruiting and a certain type of plant quality and plant health, we have to focus on how we feed the plants. So what are the things that are necessary for this plant? And this, you can get assistance with this through doing a soil test because a soil test will tell you exactly what is in your soil and exactly what you will need. So, just an update. Like with human beings, plants will require different food kind or nutrients. So this is what we would supply the plants with on a weekly basis well twice per week every three days so we have iron it's one pound one pound zinc that is three pound magnesium and this is urea or green plus but we have the green plus soluble and this is ten pounds and um, this one over here is MOP, 10 pounds, and 30 pounds nitrosol. So everything together, we would dissolve it in the drum and use the fertigation system through the drip line and supply it to the acre of peppers. And with that, I was telling you that with the help of other farmers and this precision nutrient management system that Fursan has, we were able to um, know the breakdown in terms of pound per acre for the different nutrients and to boost the production we got these we got these from Rada that's 15 pound to the acre and this would help with flowering, fruiting and just overall um, strengthening the plant's capabilities of producing so yeah this is we do this twice per week but except the production just these twice per week so all together that is one two five fifteen and twenty five and thirty and that is about twenty five and thirty that's fifty five pounds every three days of fertilizers so know that and then you're going to have a tray. That's good. I'm going to have a So, this is Claude, a part of our support system. He's been there with us, um, partnering with us to get this done. We have learned. From plot one that this is the, the soluble fertilizer and getting it through the drip system is more efficient um, than trying to do it any other way than to fertilize any other way and since we've gotten from first and what our plants really need um, we are now able to provide that amount of nutrients through the drip system we mix um, everything that we are planning to add on a particular day into this um, barrel and once everything is, is mixed we ensure that we dissolve it as best as possible and try to get it out to the plants. We do this twice a week, well every three days we would allot the amount of fertilizer based on our plan and Claude will assist us in, in getting that out to the plants. Um, at plot one, what we did, we used the granular fertilizer and we actually went around and tried to apply this to each plant root. This was very, well, this was, this method to the fertigation system is much more efficient. It requires less time and energy and effort and it gets the, gets the, the fertilizer to the plants in a farm that they can immediately use for the granular fertilizer 
it would still require something rain or water or something else to dissolve it before the plant even has access to it so that is another thing so just to point out that this mixture is a mixture of macro and micronutrients um, plants need both and this as i said before is dependent on the soil test that was done and the plan that we got from first and based on that soil test which tells us what our soil is lacking and in what amounts we would need to provide it to ensure that the plants will have enough food um, to perform at, at maximum productivity so the as i said it's applied through a fertigation system so it's done through a hose which pulls the liquid from the barrel and pulls it into the main water line the pressure from the water that's coming in then kind of pushes it through the line and disperses it um, to the plants through the the drip hose system thanks to kirk a fellow farmer who has helped us to design our nutrient and pest management program that has really transformed the farm. The plants are much bigger, the plants are greener, the leaves are bigger. And so we also apply fertilizer through the foliage of the plants. So we spray them on. This includes, we use a high yield package from First Hand. We also use Bio 20 and Fortify. I think those are from AG Chem and we also use Calmax B as well. So we, we would spray these onto the plants um, on a weekly basis and for us like it's always about the lessons and about learning from what we are doing. And what we've learned here is that when you look at this plot compared to plot one at a similar stage, um, the plants look much healthier. The plants are producing more. Plants are producing larger fruits and they just look much more healthier overall. When we looked at plot one, we can see clearly the differences the plants the leaves are much smaller the fruits are smaller and the plants themselves just do not look healthy compared to plot one so we have to feed the plants we have to ensure that we give them what they require based on what the soil has and what they need to produce um, and we're just much more confident now farming and as pepper farmers because of the quality that we're seeing we're actually putting in more um, and we're seeing the the impact of that additional effort that we're putting in the leaves for, an, for example look at this leaf it is huge cell and hand is very big and the leaf covers it at eight weeks so it's just an example of the, the differences that we're seeing on this plot. So are you seeing improvements to the pepper here compared to plot one? Sure, there is a marked difference, a marked differences. You know, look at the two plots. First of all, we have never seen leaves this size in plot one. Never. All the trees here have leaves of this size. We've never seen trees of this size at this stage. Of that one. So even look at look at the stem of the plant. We've never seen any stem like this in flat one. They were usually smaller and of more of a woody texture. About the size of the peppers or the plastic. The size of the peppers now. That's a whole different body. Um now look at plot one. Peppers are nothing compared to what we're seeing here. Look at these peppers. And these peppers aren't even 
material yet like they're not ready to be picked but they are so much bigger so that means we'll be getting more pepper more weight that's one two more pepper so when are bigger and we are still feeding more pepper and we're so if we go down Some other things that we've noticed, we realize that if you look at the video closely, you'll see some some holes that are missing, and then even at this section, an entire section is missing with a lone tree standing. And this is another thing that we've learned. Uh, before we planted, we should have cleaned the drip line, but now we don't want to do that again because we're scared that whatever we use will damage the plants. So this is our plot. We are really anticipating reaping to see what it re what reaping will look like at this plot. And so we in we invite you to join us. Continue to join us on this journey and you can learn something as we learn as well. Thanks again for joining and see you soon.